Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So late on Friday in my region, Microsoft rolled out the latest beta channel inside a preview build, 22635.4655, which was made available with the update KB5048753. Now, if you are interested as to what Microsoft is working on and testing in the beta channel, then just a quick overview as to what is new. Now, first of all, as you may well know, we get our recommended section on the start menu. Now, this is something I wish Microsoft gave us an option to be able to actually turn off and turn on if we need it. I personally don't use it. I've um, turned off all the settings for any recommendations. But if you are using the recommended section, Microsoft says it's improving the filtering for recommended websites on the start menu based on feedback from Windows insiders that it now shows the highest quality sites based on your own browsing history. So basically, it's going to declutter a whole lot of the um, unnecessary recommendations coming through um, into the recommended section. So um, if you are using this feature, I think this is a nice move because it's just going to declutter that recommended and give you better quality suggestions according to Microsoft. And then if we head over to our spotlight on the lock screen, and quite a bit of emphasis has been placed um, on Spotlight, both for the lock screen and the desktop uh, in this latest beta channel build. Microsoft says that it's trying out a few different treatments, as they like to call it, for the top right hotspot. So they're talking about like the image that you can see on the lock screen, where you can now learn more about the Spotlight image on your lock screen by clicking on the like icon that takes you to the Spotlight landing page. And if we head back to Spotlight um, on the desktop, currently in the stable version, if you hover over learn about this picture that's um, found off as part of Spotlight for the desktop, um, you just get a little fly out with basic information. Now, what's going to change is that Microsoft says with this build, you can now quickly and easily discover more information about your background image by simply hovering over the, or clicking on the learn about this picture icon on your desktop. Now, at this stage, you have to right click and then you get um, a little bit more information. So just a couple of little tweaks and adjustments where if you hover over the actual um, icon, it's going to give you that information instead of right clicking. And then if we head over to an image provided um, regarding Windows Share, Apparently, when you share links now or web content using the Windows Share window, you will see a visual preview for that content. And I actually think that's just a small little, nice little tweak and adjustment when it comes to the user interface. And then there is a important fix that's rolling out, where they fixed an issue where the window previews weren't showing when hovering over open apps in the taskbar. So that was a niggly issue in the beta channel. And then something I've posted on previously now that's made its way to beta is Microsoft Edge Game Assist. And I posted a whole video on this, and I'll leave it linked down below and in the end screen. But basically, Game Assist, according to Microsoft, is the first in-game browser that they say delivers a gaming-centric browsing experience, including access to your browser data from your PC and mobile devices. Game Assist, they say, is a special version of Microsoft Edge that is that's optimized for PC gaming and can appear on top of your game in Game Bar. They say it's game aware and will suggest tips and guides for what you're playing. It also shares the same browser data with Edge on your PC, so the information you care about, as they call it, is always accessible when you play, including your favorites, history cookies, form fills, and so on. So go check that video out. I did cover this more in detail. And that's it, guys. That's what's new for the latest beta channel build um, that rolled out late on Friday in my region. Build 22635.4655. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.